<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let me get back up a little bit. Is this better? Is this better? I don't know. This looks good. Okay. <laughs> It's me, Claire Nexaphone, aka Gabby. Um, I am going to do a setup video and start making videos of me and my adventures and such because I'm about to go to grad school. So, yeah. So let's uh, let's get started. using is a LeBlanc Bliss. It is the L210N series, I think it is. Um, they discontinued this model. They don't make it anymore. Um, at least not this exact model. Um, I know way back when, I think I got one of the last ones um, that was being sold at the time, but um, as you can see, the nickel plating on this, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of looks like it's coming off. Um, that was one of the reasons why they discontinued it is because the, uh, the nickel was peeling off and it was coming off. And so they were like, oh no, we can't, we can't do that. So that, that's one of the reasons why they discontinued. Um, so another, uh, the mouthpiece I'm using is a uh, Selmer Sea Star. I thought they only made Sea Stars for, uh, saxophone but apparently they make them for a clarinet. But it's a vintage one. I think it's around the 80s or 90s, I think, that this was made. Um, but yeah, it's a very, it's a very closed mouth mouthpiece. Um, allows me to use a little bit harder reeds if I wanted to. Um, right now, speaking of reeds, I'm using a Legere reed, um, mostly because I'm gonna be traveling um, here soon in a couple of days. So I'm just using Legere, so I have this flat reed that doesn't change. Um, but normally I use Diodario, um, either Reserves or Reserve Classics, I haven't figured out. I also use uh, Brad Bain, his uh, reeds, um, they're really nice. So the ligature I'm using is a Diodario H series, um, that's, it's based off the old Harrison model. Uh, mouthpiece uh, ligatures and um, if you can find an original Harrison ligature that is awesome that's great that they're like one of the best ligatures I think um, but unfortunately I haven't came across one yet so that is my B flat clarinet setup <laughs> My A clarinet. My A clarinet is a Royal Global uh, Classic Limited B flat clarinet or A clarinet. Um, I use the same mouthpiece and everything for it. Um, I might eventually in the future get a new mouthpiece and ligature for the A clarinet setup, but right now I'm just using the same. Um, but this is a very, very nice model. This is a very very smooth a clarinet like i've played on a yamaha uh, clarinet i played on the uh what is it the buffet uh their model of a clarinet not as smooth this is the best smoothest a clarinet i highly recommend this a clarinet because you'll you'll play it and you'll be fascinated by how smooth it is it crosses the brakes really great it has a extra e flat key on the side um, on your left pinky side, which is really neat. Um, and yeah, um, I also like the shape of the octave or the register key. It is kind of like a check, so you can kind of easily move your thumb to it. Um, let's see. But yeah, overall, it's a, a very neat, um, neat clarinet. Uh, they also have this uh, ring right here, prevents cracking. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, this barrel is beautiful. I don't know if you could tell in this light, I don't think, but it is like a cool brown color. Um, but yeah, so this is my A clarinet.
Okay, so on the saxophone sides of things, um, so I have a, currently a student model, Selmer A3, AS300, uh, Selmer USA. It's, I think it's probably one of the best beginner horns you could possibly get. Um, they're really nice, they're really smooth, they, uh, if you could find one in good condition, um, they're pretty, they hold up pretty nice too. Um, so the mouthpiece I'm using, I'm using right now a jazz mouthpiece, it's a V16 S Plus. Uh, uh, A5 chamber. Uh, reeds, I'm kind of in between finding out which reeds I like. Right now I'm trying the Diodario Jazz Select uh, unfiled reeds. I tend to like them so far. Um, another set of reeds, uh, Jazz ZZ Van Doren reeds. Um, I think. And I'm probably going to end up getting a Legier reed for this one too, for traveling. So, um, but yeah, this is my uh, saxophone setup so far. I'm in the process of getting a custom Z. Um, once I get a custom Z, that's gonna be great. And it'll it'll sound awesome and I won't have to play on a dingy student horn anymore. And uh, actually right now it's coming apart. <laughs> uh, my whole upper stack of pads need to be replaced. And uh, yeah, they're not sealing very well. I got it temporarily fixed. Uh, I'll probably be getting it fixed in March which is coming up soon. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's uh, my setup. I'll go through some other accessories I like to use for my instruments. So as for accessories, I for saxophone specifically, I like to use the uh, key leaves. Uh, they go in between some of your keys in the bottom and they will prevent, you know, moisture getting sucked into them and getting them, like, sucked to dry it when they get air. So, um, it just airs them out and uh, prevents, prevents a shrinkage of uh, your pads. Um, for reed cases, I use the Diodario uh, moisture, uh, it comes with, like, a little moisture pack. I don't use them right now. I live in the south, um, so... It's very humid here all the time, so I, I hardly ever need to use them. Um, sorry for the chirping in the background, that is my bird. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's very nice. I like the grooves in them, it lets uh, air uh, escape and go through them. Um, for neck straps, um, I have one of them on, uh, this is for my clarinet, but I use pretty much the exact same one for my um, saxophone. That is the Rico neck strap. I find it very comfortable. Believe it or not, you wouldn't think this small strap of a saxophone uh, neck strap would be very comfortable, but it is. It's pretty comfortable to me. Um, let's see. Uh, I also have, you know, your vial of water to soak reeds. Um, let's see what else I got. Also by Key Leaves, I have uh, the spit sponge. Um, it soaks up spit in between your pads. I use it especially for clarinet. It happens all the time. I get them in my side keys and I get them um, in my upper joint a lot, especially the, uh, the register key. Alright, as for uh, accessories for a clarinet, um, let's see. Like I said, I use uh, the spit sponge for the clarinet uh, by Keeley's. It's really nice. Uh, this is the Humida pack that comes with uh, your reed cases. Um, it's very nice if you live in a place where it's dry or you don't get a lot of moisture. Um, I tried it with, uh, uh, during the winter in the south and it was not the best. My reeds all got moldy. They, uh, would not come out with bleach or anything. I tried everything to save those reeds and they would not save. It was terrible. So I stick to using this maybe, um, if, uh, I'm trying to think. Probably in the summer a little bit, um, believe it or not, it'll get dry in the house, so I'll use it in the house. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm going to be traveling soon, so I might use it there too. Um, another interesting thing I found online that I haven't gotten to use quite yet, but uh, I'm going to be using it in the future, hopefully, is this uh, Ton Kuiman Etude Just 3 uh, Thumb Rest. So it's supposed to be an ergonomic uh, thumb rest where it adjusts the thumb uh, a different angle to hold, so you can hold the clarinet and it not cause pain. Let me let me show you guys a little bit. 
so here is the thumb rest so basically your thumb goes here and it's adjustable yeah, it's, uh, it's adjustable thumb goes here and it holds the clarinet and it's pretty neat I used it once but I couldn't get my fingers quite correct so it kept just kind of squawking and um, I couldn't figure out if that was like an instrument issue or if it was my fingers so I switched back to my old thumb rest and I will I uh, seem seem to fix the issue um, so another thing I use um, so my B flat clarinet um, has a ring on it uh, neck strap ring which is very nice I can uh, just use that but my A clarinet doesn't so I hit use the it's a BG uh, leather strap uh, attachment for your thumb rest it goes on the thumb rest and then you put the neck strap in the hole uh, I use that um, let's see what else do I use Um, so I do have a physical metronome that I use. I use when I'm recording um, because I can't use my phone or my tablet and record at, or yeah, use the metronome and record at the same time. So I do have a physical Korg uh, metronome TM, good old TM50. Um, so for swabs, I use, um, uh, a silk, I use a silk swab. Is what I use for um, cleaning out both my clarinet and saxophone. I tend to like those better because they won't like scrape the inside. Um, if you use a cloth, you can use cloth, but it'll tend to wear out the inside a little bit faster than a silk one was. And also, a silk will also soak up spit a lot quicker and a lot faster. Um, let's see, what else do I use? Um, for stands, I just have a generic, you know, saxophone and clarinet stand. Um, I have a physical clarinet stand also. Um, and that's about it. Um, if you have any questions on, as to like what I use and why I use things, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, otherwise, um, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be making more videos and yeah. I will see you in the next video. That was lame. Um, yeah, I'll see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever. Yeah. Bye. Stop. Stop.